Steve here, and congratulations on attending this very special seminar. As you can see, the title is Understanding Candles. And we're going to show you in this brief presentation, whether you're watching it live or via a video, how even a basic understanding of candlesticks can really help improve your trading and investing confidence. We'll be going over a little bit later also, some markets of your choice, answer your questions, and tell you about a really special way to uh, continue your education on a daily basis. But before we begin, let's do the legal stuff here. Here we have our uh, risk disclosure. And just a reminder that there's a risk of loss of trading pretty much in any market whether it's futures or equities, or as you call it in the uh, UK, shares, uh, options. So just remember that when you're trading or investing. And if you do want to read the complete risk disclosure, go to the link shown here on the bottom. So with that out of the way, let's move on. Okay, and as I mentioned, whether you're new to candlesticks, and some of you may be, and I just call them candles, uh, but they are actually officially called Japanese candlesticks. When I did my research into the 1980 and got dozens of books on candlesticks, and I'll show you my uh, my desk with these books in a little bit. Uh, they are called Japanese candlesticks, but we are all kind of in a rush. So rather than having to type out or research candlesticks, I just uh, would call them candles. Uh, and so we're gonna show you ways that you can uh, immediately apply some of these strategies even the basic strategies, obviously we won't have time to go into all the nuances, but this is a great way to either learn about candles, for those new, or just refresh your knowledge about candles for those who are already experienced. And shown, as shown by the slide here, okay, why do the best traders and investors use candle charts? And there's quite a few reasons. The main ones are very easy, easy to understand. Once again, if you're new, I'll spend just a few brief minutes going over the construction of the candlesticks. And you'll see, even by looking at the construction, you'll be able to see who's winning the battle between the bulls in an individual candlestick line. The real power of candles, they give you early reversals, well ahead of traditional Western technical tools. But we can combine candlesticks with your favorite Western chart te charting techniques. And we'll look at that a little bit later also when we look at candlesticks plus Western technicals. I've been using Western technicals since 1974. Uh, I did my candlestick research in the 1980s. So essentially, you know, I've been using these strategies for generations. Uh, and here we have East meets West. I just alluded to, uh, to that about candles and Western technicals. But I also want to highlight the quotes here, safety first. And what we mean by that is knowing not only when to get potentially into a new trade or investment, but equally important, two things. One, when to exit it, and two, when not to enter or exit a trade. That's what we call safety first trading. Uh, I often say at the end of the day, it's not only how much you make, but how much you didn't lose because it's all added together. And uh, as mentioned in the introduction, Candles work, or maybe I didn't, all markets and all time frames. In fact, my book's been translated into actually over 20 languages. I have three books. And this was before self-publishing. So publishers actually uh, you know, came to me to uh, say, hey, I'd like you to write a book. Uh, and we have students from over 85 countries, India, Asia, uh, South America, South Africa, just on and on. And the reason for that is because candlesticks when properly used and they want to underscore that properly used are a universal language or is a universal language it's like mathematics you could write a math symbol anywhere and anybody who speaks any language will understand it. the same thing is true with candlesticks candlestick charts so just some of the markets that candles work on obviously this is not all of them um, cryptos are especially uh, popular now but whether you trade ETFs or futures and weekly, uh, even a one minute, I actually use candles not only for trading, but for my longer term investments. And I'll show you different time frames uh, with uh, the markets in a couple of minutes as we discuss the basic candle signals. 
Now, the reason candlesticks are so easy <coughs> excuse me, to understand and to use is candlesticks are like a bar chart. They show the price of any market. You know, you look on the vertical axis, you'll see the price, whether it's true with the old uh, with the bar chart. Nobody uses bar charts anymore since I revealed candles back in the late 80s. Pretty much every charting service now uses candlesticks, and that's amazing when you think of it. Before my first book came out, uh, there's not one charting service anywhere in the Western world that use candlestick charts. Now they all do. Uh, but getting back to this slide, the candlesticks, like a bar chart, shows the price. But what the candlesticks do is they reveal the force of the current move. And let me show you an example of that. But before I do that, let me just briefly review the construction of the candlestick line for those new. Most of you are familiar with it, but just in case. The ca candlestick line, and it looks like a candle. That's why the Japanese call it candlesticks. Uh, has a rectangular portion, and the rectangular portion is simply the relationship between the open and the close. If the candle, or the thick part of the candlestick line, the real body is green, or your charting service may have it white, or you know, but essentially most services have it this way. If it's green, that means the close is up here on the top of the real body, and the open is here. A red real body quickly shows you that the close is under the open. So it's the same data as the bar chart, but by drawing it this way, you could see what's happening between the bulls and the bears. In fact, up until the early 1900s, late 18th, uh, 19th century, that is the 1800s, the Japanese used to use bar charts and they shifted over to candlestick charts. And that's what happened here in the West after I revealed them. Of course, it's the same data as a bar chart, but it's much more visually informative Okay, the lines above and below the real body are called the shadows. Some people call them wicks. The top of the upper shadow is the high of the session, and the bottom of the lower shadow is the low of the session. When a candlestick line doesn't have a real body as per the right side, okay, they're horizontal lines, and that means the opening and closing are the same. Those are called doji, and that's all there is to draw a candlestick line. But don't let the simplicity of how easy it is to draw fool you. And let me show you the power behind candlesticks. Okay, here we have a green real body. Who's in charge here? Remember, with a green real body, the, op the market opened here and closed here. It doesn't matter if it's a one-minute chart or a weekly chart. Okay, obviously the bulls are in charge, right? Opened here by the end of the session. You know, could have traded down to here during the session. It is the bottom of the lower shadow, so it's a low here. Could have traded down here, could have traded that high up here, but by the end of the session, it closed strongly higher. How about here? Market, now it's a red real body. What is that telling us? Did the market open here or here? Obviously, a red real body means the market opened at the top of the red real body and closed down here. So, obviously, on this one session, we could see the bears are in control. Now, if we turn our attention to the right, with the doji, who's in control? There's no red real body or a green real body. There's just a horizontal line, which means the open and closing are the same. The market is in equilibrium between the bulls and the bears. And very often when we get a doji during a rally, it turns the trend from up to neutral. Now, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet and that's why i want to congratulate you for coming here to going to the pretty much the source of all candlestick information in the western world um and you'll see a doji means the market's going to go from up to down that is not true a doji means the market has gone from up let's say we have a strong rally and there's a doji that's telling us the market is tired it does increase the likelihood of the market reversing because let's say we have a strong green candle, that increases likely the market's going to continue higher. We have strong momentum. Here, the momentum is neutral. It doesn't mean the market's going to go down, but it is a time where the market's taking a breather. And there's lots of nuances with Doji that we don't have time to get into. Again, I'll give you uh, information on how you can continue your uh, education. But for example, if the Doji is making new high close for the move, 
that is less bearish than if Doji did not make a new high for the move. If a Doji is confirming resistance, that would be more important, etc. So the goal here in this short video and presentation is certainly not making you a candlestick expert, but just showing you how even understanding basic information about some of the uh, essential candlestick lines and patterns can really help you improve your confidence. Now here, the market's selling off. That's what the down arrow is. Okay, a red wheel body, and the next session, okay, this could be a one minute chart, a daily chart, a weekly chart, doesn't matter. This next session, the green candle wraps around the red candle. So who's taking control from who? Yeah, the bulls, right, are taking control from the bears. This is a potential bottom reversal signal. Look at an actual example in a couple of minutes. Here, the market, as shown by the blue arrow, is uh, rallying. We have a green candle, and the next session, a red real body wraps around the green real body. Now, the red real body doesn't have to wrap around the shadows. Same thing here with the pattern on the left. The green candle doesn't have to wrap around the shadows. All it has to do is green candle wrap around red candle, red real body, red real body wrap around a green real body. This is called, a on the left is called a bullish engulfing pattern. And you can see why, the green candle engulfs the red, and on the right is called a bearish engulfing pattern. Okay, so uh, here we have a little bit more definition of a bullish engulfing pattern. It's a two session pattern. The market has to be in a downtrend. And the white body, or in this case, a green body, wraps around a red real body. And all the candle signals, if you think about it, we looked at the psychology, the, the bulls are taken over from there. So ideally, the first candle of a bullish engulfing pattern, you like to see a red real body because it's showing a smaller red real body shows that bearer's momentum is. Uh, running out of steam, and then the white, uh, the green candle, or white real body, depending on your charting platform, then now the bulls are in control. And I had mentioned that I use candles not only for trading, but for investing. So here we happen to have a weekly chart on the Dow, classic bullish engulfing pattern. The market is in a downtrend. There's a green real body that wraps around a red real body. It doesn't have to wrap around the shadow. Green body, wrap around a red real body. That is a potential bottom reversal signal. Most of the candlestick signals, and we're only going to go through a few of them here, can be used as support or resistance because there's always a price that says you're wrong. So with that in mind, if you did buy in this bullish engulfing pattern, the low of the bullish engulfing pattern should be a uh, support area. Okay. Now, here we'll look at the hammer. So, market is moving down. It could be a green real body or red real body. And we have a lower shadow. What does a lower shadow mean? That sometime during the session, the market had sold off down to here. But by the end of the session, the market had rallied to close at here, it's high, and this again could be white or green, uh, the close at a high or a little bit off the highs. The main thing is the lower shadow should be twice the height of the real body. Why? Because we want to see a strong bounce back. So this candlestick signal looks like a hammer, that's why the Japanese call it that, is showing us that the market is rejecting lower levels because it had moved down to here, and then it rallies by the end of the session. Okay, so here on the daily chart, on the NASDAQ, the composite, classic hammer. Look how beautifully this called the low. Not surprising, because the market had sold off all the way down here, and by the end of the session, look how much it had bounced. So either the bulls are coming in full force down here, or the bears are retreating, but either way, the downside momentum is now not in the bear side. It's a potential bottom reversal signal. And with all candle signals, there's always a price that says we're wrong. So if you do buy in this hammer, the low of the hammer becomes a potential support area. 
the opposite of a hammer, for all the candlestick signals, there's an opposite one called the shooting star. It looks like a comet or a shooting star. The market is moving up. It is shown by the blue arrow. That means the market's rallying. And we have a very long upper shadow, twice the height of the real body. It's kind of, uh, kind of an upside down hammer, right? But this is a potential bearish signal. Why? And even if you didn't know it's called a shooting star, think about what the candle line is showing us. The market rallied. We know it had gotten up to here. Let's say this is a daily chart. It gotten, it's gotten up to here. By the end of the session, on this shooting star, it closed on the low. On this shooting star, it closed over here. And even if it closes off the lows, the, as long as the upper shadow is twice the height of the real body, that is, the, the upper shadow is two times the height of this part of the candle line, that is a shooting star. It should be a resistance and a potential reversal. So here in Bitcoin, we have a shooting star. Okay, we're not going to have time to get into this today, but one of my favorite candlestick signals are windows. It's a gap, and very often windows, the Japanese call gaps windows, become a support or resistance area. Notice how the market gap down, and look what became resistance. Once again, we're not going to, that's actually one of my favorite candlestick signals, uh, the window, but it's a little bit more nuanced. You know, I could spend a good half hour, 40 minutes on it. Uh, but, you know, for those familiar with the essentials of candles, you'll recognize this falling window confirming the bearish implications of the shooting star. By the way, this has the same shape as a hammer, right? Long, lower shadow, small real body at the top. What's wrong? Why is that not a bullish hammer? For you uh, semi-experts out there, why is that not a bullish hammer? Play the theme music from Jeopardy. Remember, one of the criterion of a hammer is it has to come after downtrend. It's the bottom reversal signal. Is this a downtrend? No, it's an uptrend. And ideas like this is really going to help you avoiding losing money because we get this time and time again. People thank us after becoming students that they would have bought on this hammer or what they thought was a hammer, but now that they have the correct education, they knew this is not a bullish signal and it would have kept them from buying only to suffer the pain of many, many thousands of dollars lower. Okay. Now, here's my desk. I mentioned I was going to show you my desk where I did my research. Uh, so, th And you'll see why I'm talking about this uh, as we move into our next section. So these are just some of the Japanese books I had translator translated. I paid a translator a lot of money to translate all these books. He was going to Japan back in the 80s, and I told him to buy every book he could on candlesticks, and I paid him to translate all of them. And these are the pages, the English translations. You see how voluminous it is. So like a section on the hammer, shooting star, uh, and it cost me many, many, many thousands of dollars. But when I was doing this, I was giving trading strategies. I was working at uh, Merrill Lynch, and I was also at other firms, EF Hutton and Shearson and so forth, Shearson Lehman. And I started to give trading recommendations to the brokers, and the trading recommendations became much more successful. And I did not let them, that is the brokers, know that I was using candlestick theory to give them the recommendations. And that's why I continue to pay for all this out of my own pocket because it was proof in the pudding, as we say here in the States. You may not be familiar with that expression, out of the States, but it proved to me how, when properly applied, candles can really be used to uh, improve confidence and uh, uh, you know your trading. So the reason I wanted to show you this is because each of these books were focused on candlesticks, but many of them also had Western charting techniques in them, which I was already familiar with, obviously, since I've been using Western technicals since the mid-70s. And what the Japanese do is combine candlesticks and Western indicators. And that's what I do with our educational system. We have what we call the trading triad. triad. Triad is Latin word for three. And the first leg of the trading triad is candle charting techniques. We just spent a couple of minutes on that. The second leg is candlesticks with Western indicators. And by this, I mean combining your favorite Western indicator with candlesticks. Because if you have a candlestick signal, once you learn how to use them correctly with confirming a Western indicator that you're very familiar with, 
the odds of trading success are greatly enhanced. For example, I just like using horizontal support or resistance. So here, classic hammer. This is on Amazon. This is a daily chart. And the hammer, nothing more basic than a support area. Look how the hammer confirmed a support area. What that does do is increase the likelihood of the market reversing. And this is really important, not only if you trade outright, but you trade options, because with options, obviously, you know, implied volatility is important. But more important than implied volatility is trend. And if you could see a trend changing in options or any other market, you really have a leg up on those who don't use candles correctly or not familiar with them and would miss signals that are going to become very, very evident to you. Okay, and again, there's always a price that says you're wrong. So in this case here, you know, the low of the hammer, okay, my stop out area would be, if this was a little bit lower, I might make my stop out area down here or protective stop. Okay, this, so this is a very basic example of combining candles with Western technicals. This is a daily chart here. Uh, this line isn't drawn really well, but this blue line should have been up here. See the blue line here, a resistance area. So actually one of the great things about uh, PowerPoint is I could just change it on the fly. There we go. Okay, so no real reversal signals here, but it's a high. And look what's confirming it, a shooting star. And this is on an intraday chart. This is a 60-minute chart. So you could use this in all time frames. And it doesn't mean you short. Many of us are not going to short unless you're doing options. Maybe you do a put or something. But it could be a good time to think about exiting long positions if you have a profit. So you can think of the bearish candlestick signals, especially if they confirm a Western signal, as a time to lock in profits or you know, move up protective stops. So we saw the first two legs of the trading triad. Let's look at another leg, candlesticks and trade management. Okay, and one of the key aspects of trade management okay, is looking, always looking at the risk reward of a trade. So even if there's a candlestick signal, even if it's confirming another Western signal, you know, let's say you like uh, moving averages or trend lines or uh, oscillators or you know, RSI or whatever it is, and a candlestick symbol confirms it, that's fine, but it's equally important to think about the risk reward. If you don't have a good risk reward, you don't do the trade or the investment. To me, a good risk reward is you're risking a dollar to potentially make two dollars. So here's a case in point. Okay, and I have a series of trading principles, core trading principles, this is one of them. So here we have the hammer. We looked at this market before. This is the, uh, this is Amazon. Uh, this is on a daily chart. So let's think about the risk reward of this. Now, candlesticks don't give you price targets, right? So your target might be different than mine, but my target, I'll show you what my target is. So we had mentioned setting a protective stop under the lows here. Okay. My target, I just go to the recent major high. And notice what was there, a doji, right? Confirmed by a red candle. There's also a bearish engulfing pattern, by the way, even if it's a doji. That would be my target. So, and we would have taken profits at the doji, which confirmed a resistance area. Okay, so let's think about if this was a good risk reward. Okay, and these are some doji warning re of your reversals. So buying, again, you know, you may not be buying a high price stock. You may be doing an option. And I, don't, I don't take into account time value with this brief analysis or implied volatility. We're just looking at price. So remember, it's not a hammer until the close. So we theoretically buy at 3,000. How a stop would be under the lows at 2880. Okay, so we're risking 120. And we have a target of 3,400. So that is a good risk reward. We're potentially looking to make 400 and risking 120. That's uh, uh, more than a one to three risk reward. In other words, we're risking a dollar to make $3. So here, potentially, 
theoretically, we have a total profit of $400 per share. Okay, most of us are going to be doing more than one shares. So what I wanted to do in this brief session, and I'm going to turn it over to Paul a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to come back and go over some markets of your choice and answer your questions, is just briefly go over a way to continue your education and also get ongoing, ongoing guidance through uh, live and recorded sessions. So here are some of the things we do. Every day we do a chart of the day. Okay, we do a trade setup of the day. Uh, we do a market recap, er, recap every day. We'll look at uh, the NASDAQ, the S&P, Bitcoin, the major currencies, crude, the markets. Even if you don't trade them, the, we look at the markets that will affect other markets. Uh, strategy session we do twice a week where we ask you for markets of your choice and we analyze them and we'll be doing that uh, after Paul gets on and lots of other things as well. And I, I'm, I, I'm part of it, Sill and Brian, we're all, uh, Sill and Brian are both NISA certified trainers. And just one brief, one testimonial out of many about uh, mycamelcharts.com. That's the site, our paid memberships, membership site. Uh, the guidance and support that comes with never trade alone. That's the motto for mycamelcharts.com is being able to listen to videos. And like I said, we do it live, but most people watch the video. And daily reports a second time helps reinforce the learning curve. Access to other forms of training material is a must. And the library is packed of these learning materials. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Paul to give you more details about some great uh, specials and the lifetime option. And uh, if you do have any questions after this, you can email Paul. And then I'm going to get back on and analyze some markets of your choice. And I'm going to pull up real-time markets and give you my analysis, my forecast of support and resistance and what to look out for. And I'll also answer any of your questions. So with that, Paul will be taking over, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, thank you, Steve. Uh, I'm just going to take just a couple minutes here uh, and go over a little bit more detail about my candle charts. I know Steve did a nice quick overview of what it is, and there's a lot more information, and I'll give you the link so that you can take a look at it for yourself. But what is my candle charts? It is an exclusive membership site for daily ongoing guidance. That means every day uh, through a variety of live and recorded sessions designed to assist any level trader, whether you're brand new, intermediate, or even an expert level. From anywhere in the world, we have students from 85 different countries to gain the confidence and the skill set needed to achieve success. So, uh, there we go. Uh, Steve already mentioned, these are the sessions that are regularly scheduled, for example. And I know Steve already touched on some of them, but our daily market recap, we do this every day, Monday through Friday, live. Uh, we also record them. Again, we know that people are around the world and they're going to watch it later. Uh, so everything that we do live, recorded so that you can log into the site and have full access. Steve mentioned the strategy session. I do want to mention our options outlook. If you're any level option trader, whether you're brand new, intermediate, advanced, we do an option session every Wednesday where we cover option strategies. We have a Forex session specifically for Forex markets. We do a weekly market recap for longer term if you're an active investor. Uh, and we do a weekly chart challenge. Make sure that you understand through a fun challenge each week. One of the bonuses that you get with being an either an annual or a lifetime member is access to our special topic sessions. These are all about an hour long. We do sell these separately, but again, if you're an annual or a lifetime member, you have access to all of these. These include things, I'll tell you a few of my favorites. If you're an option trader, strategies on how to do credit or debit spreads, how to trade intraday options, exit strategies, specifically on how to exit a trade. Steve mentioned before a couple of his trading principles. You get a full hour of Steve talking about all of his trading rules, the most important trading rules. Another one of my favorites, multiple time frames. How to incorporate utilizing multiple time frames to analyze charts. These are all included 
in an annual and a lifetime membership. One of the other bonus or you get other bonus items. Oh, and I just want to highlight this last one, Options Bootcamp. Now, I don't want to downplay any of these others. These are all fantastic. But I got a question while we were on the session. Hey, I'm not an option trader yet. And we get that question often or a comment often. Options Bootcamp is a three-part series designed to take somebody who's never traded an option before and give them information on how to trade options. If you do that three-part series, again, it's one of the bonus items of being a annual or lifetime member of my candle charts. You would then want to watch that weekly options outlook every Wednesday, take advantage of strategy sessions, daily market recaps, and everything else so that you can take full advantage. And I do see a couple questions coming in. I want to get through this so that we can get back to Steve and then I will certainly stay on to answer questions for you. Here's your three different options. You can become a member of on a monthly subscription, which means you're a member for as long as you want to be. You can cancel at any time uh, and you are charged on a regular monthly schedule. We have a 12 month plan, which means that you're a member for literally 12 months. And this is where you get access to the special topic trainings, access to that options boot camp, And obviously you're getting a better per month price if you want to look at it that way. Um, and then we have a lifetime subscription, which again gives you access to everything that we have to offer, uh, plus obviously an incredible value. Now, this is for a very limited time and I just wanted to mention this very quickly. For any new annual plan subscription, we're going to give you as an included bonus until this offer is over, which will be in the next two days. The Candlestick Express class, which is a three and a half hour online program uh, where we're going to teach you the essentials, everything that you need to know. So if you think you learned anything from what Steve gave you prior, just in these few minutes already tonight, imagine what you would get from a three and a half hour session. So a new annual subscription, we're going to hand that to you as a bonus, $149 value. If you go with a lifetime plan, we're going to give you both the express class and the advanced express class. Each of those two are three and a half hour long. Uh, the, like I said, the express class will cover the essentials. The advanced express class will get into advanced techniques and strategies, a $295 value. So for the next couple of days, I know a lot of people will be watching this via recorded video. Uh, on the page that you're looking at, if you're watching this via recording, you'll see a countdown timer. When that countdown timer goes to zero, these special limited time bonus offers will disappear. So if you're looking for ongoing guidance from Steve and our team of mentors of Brian and Syl uh, for daily ongoing guidance, you will have guidance from the, the team of three mentors that have I don't want to age people, but we have over a hundred years of trading experience between the three of them. So those are uh, the limited time bonus offers. Steve, I'm going to hand this to you because I know we're getting a bunch of questions uh, about markets of choice and a couple of questions for you. So I'm going to hand this back to you uh, and I will put the link in. But if you want, the link right there is at the bottom. You can go to candlecharts.com slash lifetime. Uh, and again, you will be able to purchase a monthly, an annual, or a lifetime uh, with these added extra bonuses. Steve, over to you. Thank you. Let me get back to the screen. Great. Okay. Thanks so much, Paul. Uh, and as promised, I'm going to now uh, answer some more of your questions and analyze. Think about markets you want me to analyze real time now. Uh, this is the link. Uh, uh, here's another testimony before we get to the markets. I recently joined my calendarcharts.com and within a week, you know, we all have uh, compressed time frames. You know, we're all busy. So within a week, you can see how fast you can pick up valuable tips of going through the site and the education. He upgraded to a lifetime. You don't have to worry about upgrading. What Paul was talking about is a special uh, time sensitive uh, bonus and price. I upgraded to a lifetime membership. The team is always there to help you out and answer any questions you may have. I'm new to the trading world and already turning profits by far. One of the best investments you can make in yourself. I highly recommend subscribing to my 
candlecharts.com. So very nice comments from um, from Chris. So with that, let me just pull up our here. Now, one of the questions I got is how many consecutive candles in general would be used to interpret the direction or trend of a stock? And uh, that could be any market. It doesn't have to be a stock. And the beauty of candles, if you remember what we talked about in this brief uh, presentation, it could be in one session. How many sessions was a hammer? How many sessions was a shooting star, right? Some of them are dual candlestick signals, like the engulfing patterns. Uh, some are three, evening and morning stars. But it could be as little as one, two, or three sessions. And that's the beauty of candlesticks, because although I certainly recommend using, uh, you know, uh, Western technicals and the, the uh, Western technicals, many Western technicals are lagging indicators. Candles are much faster at giving you those market turns. So it could be uh, answering your question. It could be in, in as little as one, two, or three sessions. Okay, so let's go over some uh, requests here. Okay, it looks like we have, not surprising, we have Tesla. And by the way, what I have here is a 20-day moving average. This is what I use to determine longer-term trend. Okay, a 20-day moving average. And also, just to let you know, this is something we do twice a week. We take markets of your choice. Even if you don't trade any of the markets we're going to go over now by your requests, you can use this as education to apply to your market. So it's a, don't worry if you don't trade Tesla or you know some of the other markets we're going to be going over. You could use this to educate yourself. So you'll see that how that works in a minute. So here the 20 days, the simple moving average is above the 50 day moving average. So to me, the longer term trend is done uh, uh, up. And uh, here, in, okay. So here we have a resistance area. What is this and this that I'm highlighting here? Let me draw a little arrows. One there. And one there. What do we have? A doji, or two doji, the plural of doji or doji. <laughs> so my Japanese translator tells me. Uh, and these are important now because they confirm a resistance area. And what was that resistance area? What was the turning signal that the market was losing steam? What do we have here? Let me, let me do this a little better here. Let me delete it. Red wrapping around the green. What is that? All together now, a bearish engulfing pattern, right? So that was the first sign that the rally, there's actually a candlestick signal. Uh, I, I don't have time to get into. This is called a, a thrusting uh, a, a bull sash pattern. But market rallied. The first sign of a real problem was a bearish engulfing pattern. And then two doji confirming the resistance area, okay? So essentially, this market is in a lateral range, what the Japanese call a box range. Support, support, resistance, the box range here. We're in the middle of the box range. So the key resistance would be at the top end of the box. The key support is the bottom end of the box. One of the nice things about box ranges, remember I said candles will give you price targets, but Western technicals do. Whichever way it breaks out, you can think of a box range like a coiled spring. And whichever way it breaks out, you have a price target. You could take the $80 range, the box range, and if it closes above this resistance, you would add 80 to the 700 to get a target of 780. Of course, there's always a price that says you're wrong if it breaks out. Uh, um, I used what I call change of polarity. To find out more about that, you know, you could when you join mycalendrust.com. When you hear me on the market update, I use that all the time. I go over exactly what it is. Same thing here. Uh, if it closes under the support, you take away $80 box range to get a target of whatever it is, 560 or something like that. Okay, we have 
Apple. Okay, long-term trend is up. And do me a favor, if you ask any questions, I really don't have time to read a big paragraph. Just make it in one short sentence, please. Uh, okay, long-term trend is up. Short-term trend is also up. Notice the market's making higher highs and higher lows. And let me see if there's anything on the weekly. Okay, of concern on the weekly chart. Here we have a doji from last week. A little bit of a concern, but remember what I said uh, when I was talking about doji, how we have to look at doji and, and candles and context in general. This is a doji, but is this an all-time high close for Apple on a weekly basis? Yes. So although the doji might be a sign of uh, bulls losing momentum, to me, the trend is still up. Uh, we'd have to have a lower close under the doji if right, there's a weekly chart to confirm any potential bearish implications of the doji. Like what do we have here at the arrow? Markets in the downtrend, the red wrapping around the green is a bearish engulfing pattern, right? Top reversal, market sold off. What's here? A hammer. And remember what I said, if you buy on the hammer, there's always a price that says you're wrong. The low of the hammer should be a support area. And look what held as support. So even if you view this doji as a time to think about locking in profits, let's say you bought on this hammer at 130 and you got out at 148, not a bad trade. Okay, let's look, we got a currency and then we'll wrap it up soon. Okay. Here's a daily chart, okay, the euro, US, long-term trend is down, the 20-day simple moving average is under the 50-day moving average, and here we could see that the market is in a bear channel. Remember, you could use Western technicals, a channel is a channel, whether it's a candlestick chart or a bar chart. So, although the longer-term uh, the long -term trend, short-term trend is down, it looks like the market these are not hammers, but what's happening with the shadows? What are the shadows telling us? The market gets down to here. And once again, this could be any market, so don't worry about the price. Market gets down here, what happened? Bounce, gets down here, bounce, gets down here, bounce. So this potentially is now a short-term support area. All right. And we could see clean cut resistance, it's a zone here. right over here okay major support is down here this is actually from march is actually called the morning star it's one of the patterns we didn't look at so we got the spiders let's look at the s p same thing now let me do the spider here yeah i'll do the spiders okay long-term trend is up okay there's the spiders okay long-term trend is up um let's see if the weekly shows anything you can see the weekly oh. okay short-term trend is also up a little shooting star here as long as the upper shadow is twice the height of the real body which it looks like it is okay look what became resistance on the next session. So no bearish signals yet, but this potentially, especially since it was market sold there for three consecutive sessions, including the shooting star, is an area to keep out on the uh, spiders. Okay, as far as support is concerned, okay, I mentioned it again, I'm not getting much detail, but they see a little gap here, low here is above the high here. On a closing basis, 
this often becomes a support area of the window, the gap, and the market could break under it, but as long as it doesn't close under it, that is still a potential support area. So I want to make the zone here as potential support from about 222 to 424. So we do this twice a week on our strategy session. And, um, you know, on our recap, we do every day. We'll look at the composite, the Dow, the S&P, um, the uh, gold. We'll look at Bitcoin, major currencies, and so forth. So lots of great stuff on MyCC. Take advantage of this uh, time-sensitive bonus that uh, Paul was telling you about. And let me get back the chart here. Okay, and here's the link. So thank you so much for joining me and look forward working with you at mycandlecharts.com. Have a great day.